Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Bohemian Passion. Now, this cocktail itself comes to us from the Grand Bohemian in Orlando, Florida, but when you look online, there's a few different variations of this cocktail, none of which I think look this pretty. But I'm not sure if it tastes any good based on the ingredients I'm seeing here. And I'm gonna talk about the ingredients just because it's scratches my mind a little bit on how these are gonna to go together. Now, some of these are really easy. We have uh, pineapple juice and we have a little bit of lime juice, no problem there. The coconut, yeah, the triple sec, yeah. The red wine, now that's the question. Is it gonna work? Let's find out. Now, this is a shaken cocktail. Grab your shaking glass and then grab a lime. And what you'll do is you'll cut this in half and squeeze it directly into the glass for half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now that you've done this, you need a little bit of pineapple juice and you don't need a lot. We're going to use the same amount of half an ounce or 15 mils. The third ingredient that we're going to use today is triple sec. Now that will continue on our theme of tropical flavors because triple sec is a clear orange liqueur. We don't need a lot. We'll use the same amount, which is a half an ounce or 15 mils. Our next ingredient is Malibu coconut. Now you can use whatever coconut rum you want or coconut flavored liqueur that you want. However, this is what I have on the shelf. Now this is a lower ABV coconut liqueur. So if you use something else, you might have a higher ABV. So you just have to remember those things when you're thinking about what you're putting into the cocktail being higher ABV will give you a higher ethanol content, which could throw the balance out of whack slightly. But we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next step in the process is to shake this with ice. Now we're going to fill this pretty much right to the top because what we wanna do is we wanna not only chill this, we wanna dilute it because that will cut some of the tartness of the lime because it's a fair amount of lime in relation to everything else. So we'll just fill that up all the way. Make sure when you grab this and slap it on, you get a really good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Put it off to the side, and what you're gonna do is grab yourself a martini glass. Uh, any glass will do. We're just gonna dress it up, make it look fancy. And what we wanna do is fine strain this to keep out any ice chunks or a little bit of the pulp that's in there. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous to look at so far. Now what you're going to do is grab yourself a red Shiraz wine. I'm using Yellowtail, it's an Australian wine. Uh, use whatever you like best and what you can get. And we don't need a lot. We're gonna use a half an ounce, but what we will do is grab yourselves a bar spoon or any spoon that's shallow enough that we'll use to float this on top. Ho, 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 look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's the way that should float. Now, is it any good? Let's find out. Immediately, I just get the red wine, of course. Oh, that works. Mmm, that works well. You get a little bit of the wine, a little bit of the coconut, a little bit of the lime. It's just sweet enough that it balances out perfectly. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here. <laughs> 